This is the second half of the tutorial for Chapter 4, Section 4, and the next set of directions we'll see is identifying the scale factor. So they're going to give you two images. So we've got the original image and the new image. Now I know this is the pre-image or the original image, and the reason I know that is because of the arrow. See the arrow starts, or this line and the arrow that starts here, and it goes to this other one. So because the arrow is pointing to the new image, I'm going to consider that my new image. So I've got the pre-image and the new image. And so what we want to do, remember how we had done before in the last section, I'll pull that up for you, what we ended up doing is we ended up multiplying the pre-image by a, a scale factor. In this case the scale factor was 3 and that made it bigger. And here the scale factor was 3 fifths, so it was smaller than 1 which made it a, a reduction. And so that's what we're trying to figure out is what that scale factor is. So notice that this image is bigger and this one's smaller. So I know the scale factor is going to be a fraction. I know that because the image, the new image, the new image is smaller. It's smaller. So I know it's a reduction. And so what we can do is just take a look at one of the points. It doesn't matter which point we pick. I'm going to pick this one here. So this point is negative 6, 3. And then I've got a point pick its corresponding point from the image. So it looks like this one is in the same location with respect to the drawing. So this point is 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces to the left. So negative 4, 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide. So when we divide, remember when we did this, we ended up having something that looked like this. We took the original image, and we'll go ahead and take the point here, negative 6, 3. And we are going to do something to this. We're going to multiply it by something, and it's going to end up equaling, it's going to eventually equal a negative 4, 2. So I'm going to just take one of the components. I'm going to take these two right here. And I'm going to pretend there's a number out in front of negative 6. I just don't know what it is. Negative 6 times by some number. I'm going to call it x for now. And that's going to be my scale factor. And so I'm going to multiply by x, and I'm going to set it equal to negative 4, because that's what it should equal. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. And the way I'm going to do that is divide, divide by negative 6, because I'm trying to figure out how do they go from negative 6 to negative 4. And what they did is they have a fraction, negative 4, 6. So I can reduce this by taking out a common factor. I'm going to take out 2 from these two numbers here. And that leaves me with a 2 over 3. So 2 over 3, and that is the scale factor. Notice the negative signs cancel, so that's why it's just 2 over 3. And so it would work with any of the points that you picked. You see, if we had picked these two right here, these two points, what I would do is I would think of, okay, I've got... I've got 3, and I need to multiply 3 by some number, and it should equal 2. Well, when I do the division, divide by 3, hey, there's the answer, the same answer. I get 2 thirds. So it doesn't matter which point you pick, and you don't even have to use both values, both components to the ordered pair, just one of them, and it'll give us our scale factor. So for this problem here, I'll write it right up here, the scale factor, scale factor is 2 thirds. So that means the size, it was a reduction, it's being reduced by two-thirds. Let's take a look at the next one here. I'm going to pick a point. I'll pick this point this time. This is 2, 0. And this point here is corresponding to it, and it is 4, 0. Notice how it's going from a small one to a big. So this is an enlargement. Uh, this is the pre-image. And this is the regular old image, the new image that we end up having. And notice it's getting bigger. It's bigger, so this is an enlargement. And so we're making it bigger. So we're going to multiply by a bigger number, and we do it the same way. We just take that point. I'm going to take the 2 and the 4. And now we're thinking, how did we go from 2? So we're multiplying 2 by some number to get to 4. Well, we just go ahead and solve, divide by 2. That gives us x equals 2. So that tells me... No matter which point I picked, I would still get a scale factor of 2. And that's what that scale factor is. It's just how much it's going up by. In the last problem, again, it was, it was going down. It was getting smaller. So I had to multiply by a number that was smaller than 1, and 2 thirds was that number. 
Well, let's see what this next section says. It says dilate each figure by the given scale factor with the origin as the center of dilation. And all our problems have the origin as the center of dilation because when we're reading off these points, these points are starting from the origin and we're going out to these points. So since we're doing that with both the pre-image and the regular image, the origin is our center of dilation. What are the vertices of the new image is what they're asking. So the scale factor is 3. So what we have to do is figure out what these points are. The way we'll do that is we'll just make a pre-image. We'll talk about the pre-image, and we'll write down the ordered pairs for them, and then we'll do an image, the new image. And so remember, our pre-image are just these points. So this one is one space to the left, and then two spaces up. That's this point right here. Now this point is one space to the right and one space up. And this other point is two spaces to the right, and one space down. And the last one is one space to the left and one space down. So from here, we need an image that has a scale factor of 3. So that means this needs to be 3 times x. 3 times x, that is. And then we're going to have 3 times the y value. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to triple each of these numbers. So that's where I'm getting negative 3 and 6. So I basically multiplied the negative 1 by 3 and the 2 by 3, and that's where I got negative 3 and 6. Next one is going to be 3 times 1, so 3 and 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3. Next one is going to be 2 times 3, that's going to give me 6. And then this negative 1 times 3 gives me negative 3. So the last one here, negative 1 times 3 gives me negative 3. Negative 1 times 3 gives me another negative 3. So once I have those points, I'm just going to plot them. So I'm going to take those three spaces to the left, and then I go up six spaces. And then the next one I go, uh, let's see here, three spaces to the right, and then up three spaces. And the next one, six spaces to the right, down three spaces. And then three spaces to the left, and down three spaces. Now sometimes it's kind of handy to call these some points. I'm going to do that real quick. So uh, as I before I draw this in, I'm going to call this one A, and this one was B, and this is C, and this is D. And so again, this one was A, B, C, and D. Well, what we do is if we are changing the image, usually we use the same letter for the point, but we put a little sign that up in front, kind of like a just a little dash, almost like an exponent of one, but it's off to the side. And that corresponds to A. That's just saying that that's what it changed to. And so this one would be B prime. Prime is what we say when we represent that little symbol there. And then this next one would be C prime. And then this one would be D prime. And then I'll go ahead and draw in the figure that we'd have. So you can see that as we look at it, the scale factor that is greater than 1 is going to make it bigger. Smaller than 1 is going to make it smaller. So we know that this next one has a scale factor of 1 third. So that means the number is going to end up getting smaller. So the first step is, so let's go ahead and I'll name these points this time first. And let's go ahead and plot their pre-image. So what are the values or the ordered pairs of these points? So point A is 3 spaces left, 6 spaces up, 3 6, and then point B is 6 spaces right, 3 spaces up, 6, 3, and then point C is 6 spaces right, 3 spaces down, so 6, negative 3, and the last one, D, is 3 spaces to the left, and that's it. So now our image is going to be multiplied by 1 third, so that means we're Whenever we multiply by a third, that's the same thing as saying dividing by 3. And so that's what I'm going to do here. So my first one is going to end up being A prime, I'm going to call it. I'm actually going to write that in a different color here. So let's try that. Let's change it to blue. So A prime, just to show that the image is a little bit different here. A prime is going to end up dividing each of these by 3. That's the same thing as multiplying by a third. So that's going to make negative 1, 2. So 6 divided by 3 made 2. Three divide, negative 3 divided by 3 made negative 1. 
And so b prime is going to end up being 6 divided by 3 makes 2. 3 divided by 3 makes 1. So 2 comma 1. c prime is going to be 6 divided by 3 makes 2. Negative 3 divided by 3 makes negative 1. And the last one, d prime, is going to be negative 3 divided by 3 makes negative 1. 0 divided by 3 makes 0. So go ahead and plot the points. One space left, two spaces up, and that is a prime. And then two spaces right, one space up, that is b prime. Two spaces to the right, one space down, it's going to be c prime. And the last one is one space left, zero spaces down or up, and that is d prime. Now I've got my points, so I can draw the lines between them. And there's the shape. Same shape, just in a just a little bit smaller a reduction in size. Well, those are the types of problems you're going to see on tonight's homework. Good luck.